Hey, hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, anyway, Thanksgiving's coming up, Black Friday, the Nobius Beauty Award show, kind of a big deal. <laughs> anyway, but uh, I digress. So today I'm going to talk about my most repurchased uh, products from K-Beauty brands this year. And I've got a handful and I've got a few uh, runners up, so pardon my hair, it's a mess. I'm kind of a mess today. So anyway, I apologize. I look like a mess a lot, but anyway, okay. First off, so I'm just gonna go through all these. I'll link to them all below. And then I'm curious what you guys have repurchased for K-Beauty products. They're so affordable. So it's almost like you're making money buying them. So anyway, okay, first off, uh, the first few I probably talk about a lot, so I'm not gonna talk about them too much, but Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This is probably, if I look at all my products in total, it's probably the singular most repurchased product I have. And the next product is probably going to be the second most repurchased product I've repurchased uh, total, re regardless of K-Beauty or J-Beauty or wherever it's made. So anyway, I love this stuff. I use it every night. And anyway, so I brought it with my trip on me. Uh, and that says a lot because I don't, I really travel minimally because I don't like carrying stuff around and going from place to place, but this stuff came with. Next up, uh, the Costa X All-in-One Snail Cream. I love this stuff. Probably the second most repurchased product. Actually, probably maybe one of, one of the first place or second place repurchased product of all time. So it's pretty good. I love it. Next up, one more Casa Rex, their Snail Peptide Eye Cream. I love this stuff. It's really nice. You can use it on your eyes, eyelids, and you can use it also on your face. And the bottle is pretty big. It's almost a full ounce. Most eye creams are, what, half an ounce, a third of an ounce. So they're pretty gracious with the size of this, and it's super affordable. And sometimes I even put it in between my eyes because I have a wrinkle starting there, and I'm not a fan of it. So anyway... Okay, next up, the Ilion Ceramide Addo Concentrate Cream. I really enjoy this stuff. It's great. It's nice to layer as well. Now that winter's here, I'll layer this uh, over a lighter serum -y body lotion. Uh, actually, which one is it? Oh, here it is. So this Good Molecules B5 Hydrating Body Serum was good for summer, but it's not quite hydrating enough on its own. So now that winter's here, I'll... It's almost gone, but so I'll finish it soon. And then I'll apply a layer of this overneath, over it, and it seems to do the trick. So anyway, I love this stuff. The ball's huge. It's pretty affordable. The wash, uh, body top-to-toe wash version, this is also really good. No fragrance and anything like that in there. So that's worth checking out. Okay, next up, the Purito Centella Unscented Serum. This is still uh, a really nice one, although I will say... Slowly, I've kind of been phasing this one out in favor of hey, I, the Hygiene Natural Repair Serum. So slowly, I'm noticing myself use this less and less and using this more and more in place I normally would use this. So anyway, not exactly sure why, but the texture of these are both very similar. But I just, personally as a brand, I think they like Hygiene better. So maybe that's why. Probably. I'm inherently find Purio to be shady these days after everything happened. So anyway. Okay, next up, the Neogen Dermology Real Ferment Micro Essence. I also absolutely love the serum version of this. Neogen has done a great job. Typically, uh, when I first got into beauty and skincare, Neogen was like almost a no-go zone because almost everything they made was too scented for me to use. And now in the last couple of years, they've made some really nice fragrance-free options, and this is one of them. The serum version of this is great. Uh, they have another moisturizer. The High RX is own cream I absolutely am loving as well. And then they just came out with a new peptide serum, and I just ordered it, so it should be here soon. So, And that looks to be fragrance-free as well. So I don't know. Neogen's doing something right by me. So I'm happy about that because that this essence is really nice. I mean, it's got lots of ferments, bioferment complex, amino acids, things like that. It's wonderful. Okay, next up, the Isn't Tree. Ike's back again. Hi, Ike. Everyone can hear you panting loudly. Give me give me five minutes and I'll attend to you. Okay, the Isn't Tree Vegan Yam Root Milk Cream. I've repurchased this now. He's not going to go away, is he? No. Hang on. Give me five minutes. He's really annoying me today. I love you, but you're really being naughty today. Anyway, 
So I love this stuff. It's got a wonderful texture. It's similar in my, in my opinion. The texture is kind of somewhat similar. The Costarex Snail Cream is just a little bit less goopy and it really works great for super dry skin. So I think the first time I picked this up was in the uh, at the beginning of the year when it was still cold and dry out. So this stuff was really wonderful. So anyway. Hey, why don't you go out? Go run around. You've got a water dish. Hang on. Hey, come on. Come on. He has a full water dish. He just, come on. Let's go. Go drink out of your dish. It's full. He just likes to drink out of the faucet because he needs attention at all times. Okay. I love you. Give me five minutes. Okay. So anyway, so I love that. Next up. So these ones are all uh, runners up, up um, for products I purchased the most. So first off, the Isn't Tree Aloe Soothing Gel. I love this stuff. What is this one? The moisture type or the fresh type. They're both wonderful. The moisture type is meant to be geared towards dry skin when the fresh type of it's meant to be geared towards oily skin types. And they're both wonderful. Absolutely love them. I use them a lot around my neck area as well. No, give me... Really be naughty today. <laughs> ah, anyway, so when I took them over to my dad's house for them to run around, I climbed over the back and then was like trying to sit in the passenger seat and then trying to sit in my lap. And he's just really being naughty. Give me, go drink out of your thing and I give me five minutes. Now three minutes. Come on. Thank you. If you didn't, wasn't panting so hard it wouldn't be as annoying okay next up <laughs> oh that's gonna be the worst video i've ever made i'm sorry guys next up the peach slices redness relief azelaic acid treatment i love this stuff it's got 10 percent azelaic acid in it really calming really soothing if you're looking to add azelaic acid in your routine this stuff is wonderful and if you haven't used azelaic acid in your routine i highly recommend checking it out because it is amazing ingredient Really helps with redness, hyperpigmentation, breakouts, uh, things like that. So it is an amazing ingredient. Rosacea is another big one. So check it out. It's wonderful. Next up, the I'm From Rice Toner. Another repurchase of this one. I absolutely love it. There's so many toners and essences I love, and I use them, and then it's like, well, there's always new ones coming out. I don't know how many, I've probably got 10 more right in front of me. But then I come back to this one because I love it because it's super hydrating. I like using it during the winter time, and it's really nice for that. Pretty calming, short ingredient list, no fragrance. It's really nice. Uh, okay, next up, the V Green uh, Rishi Barrier Serum. This stuff is so nice. It's super light. It's got a watery texture to it. So literally, like, right after cleansing and toning, literally, like, one pump of it, smooth it on my skin, and then apply my serum and any, everything else afterwards. So this stuff is really nice, really calming, really hydrating. And I honestly think it gives my skin a glow, which uh, I really appreciate. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, he's back. I don't know why I just want to drink out of his water dish, but I will get you water, I'm almost done. Okay, next time I mentioned the Hygiene Natural Repair Serum. I absolutely love this stuff. The bottle is gigantic, so I don't feel the need to repurchase it as often as uh, other products because the bottle is what? 4.5 ounces. And uh, typically a one ounce serum will last me a month or two. So yeah, it's a big bottle. And then last but not least, the Casarex 6 Peptide Booster Serum. I really enjoy this stuff. This is another one. The bottle's huge. If the bottle were tiny, I probably would have already repurchased it by now, but the bottle is uh, so big, so I haven't had to do it yet, but it's just, it's another really nice water light uh, essence serum version that you can just apply to your skin and without having to change anything else in your routine, you apply it, let it soak in for a second, and then go on to your other serums and moisturizers. So uh, anyway, so these are my most repurchased K-Beauty products of the year. Interest in your guys' picks. Oh, also... Uh, this one I'll definitely be repurchasing as well, the Neogen High RX Zone Cream. Love it. And then, you know what, almost anything from Numbuzen, I'm still, you know what, they, their products are in pretty big bottles too. The Numbuzen, well, this is 50 milliliters, but so for serum it's a little bit bigger, but I'm loving a lot of their stuff. So I'm going to have to do a favorites video of theirs because I'm really starting to love a lot of their goodies. So uh, anyway, okay, I'm going to get Mike water now because he's so, um, so needy. There we go. 
There we go. He'll be happy for five seconds, then I'm on something else. Probably treats. So anyway, thanks so much for bearing with me for this video, and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>